All right, guys, what is up? We are back. I have a video here for you that, um, well, I think a lot of you are going to be interested in. So, what are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about thermals. So, thermals versus night vision. And what night vision and thermals encompasses, what it entails, its effects, its uses. Um, you know, what is more usable? A lot of flies, a lot of mosquitoes out here today. Anyway, so... Let's talk about some of this, shall we? So, I have one, two, three, four, four devices out here with me today, and we are going to talk about each one of them. Sort of, not really. Three of them are basically the same thing, but we're not talking about, well, we are. Anyhow, so let's start off. Should you buy thermals or nods? Yes and no. It's purely depending upon your financial situation, I'd say. There's really um, no basic need for the average individual to have this, of course, but the right to bear arms shall not be infringed, okay? So let's talk about this. We're going to start off with the cheapest object here. This is a, I'm not even sure, uh, the AGM ASP Micro TM16D. So this is a handheld thermal device monocular it's um pretty dog shit it's about 500 bucks if you want thermals this is cheap probably about as cheap as it's gonna get okay this is not a um poor man's game this one really dog shit um honestly if you're thinking about buying one of these because it's gonna be somehow useful to you this is is uh this is basically for carpenters plumbers ac guys who need to look and find a leak um water in the ground or, you know stuff like that you need to see a hot wire um but then we have this, the AGM Rattler TS35384 thermal scope, or you can use it as a, um, uh, shit, I don't even know what it's called, an attach, uh, an attach, you can put it, basically you can use your real scope with it, your rifle scope, your um, red dot magnifier combo, you can use it with this. Um, this is the real deal. This is 2000 at the time I bought it, it was $2,500 about that this is when thermals start getting usable okay this is a two and a half power magnification i think um so you know it's somewhat usable then here on our gun we're gonna have to take you out for a minute so now we're gonna move to the big one the agm rattler var no this is the agm varmint ts50 384 this is a four and a half power magnification base magnification scope thermal device um this costs around thirty five hundred dollars um maybe around four grand depending on some places i got it for kind of a deal so um brand new um this is probably if you are wanting to make shots out to three four five hundred yards this is the scope you want, okay? Not saying you'll ever do that, of course. It's kind of a nighttime deal. Um, but this, out of all of the devices, has the highest clarity, has the highest magnification, cost of value, has a range finder on it, so it works up to about, I think, six or 800 yards, something like that. This is $3,500, okay? This is, it works in the rain, it works in the snow. I've used this during the winters, but I'm a really shit coyote hunter. So uh, I can call in coyotes. I've killed rabbits with it, um, some other animals on accident. Anyhow, um, now let's talk about the night vision here, okay? The second most expensive thing on the table. The, I have a Steel Industries PVS-14 Gen 3 White Phosphorus Elbit unfilmed, I think. That's what I can remember. I don't remember exactly. We're running it on a Team Wendy Bump Helmet Peltor Contacts, okay? This device costs about three thousand dollars, three grand, three k, somewhere around that, I think. Now, so what should you buy? Well, I'm going to start off why most of you shouldn't bother buying these. Um, we're in hard times financially for a lot of people, and you, I, I need to preface this immensely, okay? If you need to spend more than half your bank account to purchase any one of these devices, do not buy these, okay? You save your money and just 
just stay on the path. Try to make it big, okay? Try to get more wealth, more, more liquid assets, so on and such. Try to attain wealth, okay? Do not buy these if you cannot, if you think, if you think you're gonna be getting divorced, if your wife or your girlfriend's cheating on you, wife or girlfriend's cheating on you, if your kids hate you, um, if you're working a really shitty job, um, if you're in any of the branches of the military, because you're already broke as fuck to begin with, um, these aren't for you, okay? These are easy to buy. They're a lot harder to sell. So if you are getting married to a girl you've only known for three years, if you're going to be marrying a girl you've known for one year, if you and your wife are having kids soon, or something like that, or whatever, a gay butt baby, you know, whatever, um, do not buy these, okay, guys? You need to be financially smart here, okay? This isn't to be rude. This isn't to be mean. I want what is best for all of you because each one of these comes with immense cost um, additionally to other things, okay? On this table alone, if we just go by the pieces of equipment on here, $3,000, $2,500, $500, and we'll just round up four grand, okay? So three, four, seven. So we have about $10,000 worth of stuff. That's not including the guns. It's not including the silencer. It's not including the helmet, the contacts, the weights, the other gun here you see with the EOTech, the, the vampire, the IR units I have. You know, that's thousands upon thousands of more dollars stuff, guys, okay? Do not buy these if you cannot afford them. If you cannot afford to replace the money in your bank account when you purchase one of these, do not buy it. I'm not doing this to be mean. I'm doing this to look out for you because a lot of you are really irresponsible. There's a reason a large portion of the country lives paycheck to paycheck. It's because most people are very bad with their money and they're impulsive spenders. If you cannot afford to replace the money in your bank account. If you have, let's say you have five grand in your bank account and you want one of these and you spent $2,500, now you just lost 50% of your bank account, okay? Do not, guys, if it takes you years upon years to get the money to purchase one of these, it takes you all year to save up to buy one of these, do not buy it, okay? I just wanna say that. But I wanna talk about why you should buy, if you are going to buy these, why you should buy thermals first. Um, let's just start off with reason number one. You can use it during the day. This isn't limited to half the day or during parts of the year, literally probably like eight hours of nighttime is when these are usable, 12 hours of nighttime. Or if you live where I live during the winter, it's um, from four o'clock to eight in the afternoon. It's completely pitch black out. Um, these, you can use them in the winter you can use them in the fall, you can use them in the summer, you can use them in the spring, the autumn, okay? Autumn, whatever. So, why you should buy these? These are completely versatile. I can see an object up to a mile, almost a mile away. I can see a heat signature. With these, you'd be lucky to see past a person 300 yards with these. Well, you know, I don't even know how true that is. Uh, you can see light pretty pretty far. You can see little teeny bits of light. That's probably the greatest thing about these these nods are or this PVS 14 is you can see a candle probably a mile away because this amplifies light so much. But we're not here to talk about the you know the amplification of light. We're here to talk about this. Um, what do you gain from a thermal? You can't hide from a thermal. Um, pretty much impossible. You may say, well, I'm going to cover myself in mud like the fucking Predator. Well, that's not going to work, dipshit, because uh, your body's basically a heat sink. Okay, that mud's just going to absorb the heat you're producing. Well, I'll wear a, uh, I'll wear a, 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 a camo net 24-7. Well, this just outlines the, the, the differential of temperature in the terrain. I will see with this. Okay, so, you know, the only way you're hiding from this thing, basically, is if you're underwater or under a snowbank. Okay, um, but you can, you can see everything with a thermal. This, the only application for really the nods is driving and walking around at night. That's my biggest thing about these is I bought these 
so I could walk around at night. I had an instant where I fell off the edge of a gravel pit, and I was just like, fuck it, I'm buying these. So, and then if you do buy these, you need to understand that $2,500, I mean, that's entry level. This is entry level. This, These two devices are entry level. If you want a big dick military grade one, it's 10 grand. I have a buddy, not a buddy, a guy I know, I went to school with him. He bought one 10 grand recently, you know, because... Not to be that guy, but I was the first guy to own this kind of stuff in my, you know, circle of people. And, you know, people ask questions. I'll post videos of it sometimes in certain places, and they'll see them, and, you know, they'll ask questions. And I want to talk about now this big one here. Now I want to talk about this big one here. So we're going to turn off the GoPro for a while, so no more, no more side shots. This is an AGM Varmint TS-50. 384 four and a half power base magnification okay and guys understand this when you look through these you aren't looking through a scope you are looking through a sensor more or less you're looking through a computer okay you're looking at a computer screen through this through a sensor this is a sensor right here okay this is sensing data it's calculating numbers it's doing that thing and it's sending numbers to this in which it'll read temperature gauges, okay? And we have a range finding unit up to about six or 800 yards. I don't know what it is. It works though. Um, we have our YMH suppressor, but we're not here to talk about that. So this is, I mean, this is where things get interesting. You're at the price point where it's basically, things start, it's, things start to get impressive, okay? Um, you could see a fucking rabbit. You could tell there, you can tell what kind of animal something is three to 500 yards out. I mean, it's impressive. You can see people, you can see cars two miles away. Um, this is where things get interesting, guys, okay? Um, this has so much use. Um, both of these, we'll get back, you know, I, actually, I wanna talk about this too. Observation. The two and a half device, that's perfect for close observation, okay? This is a four and a half power device. This thing is like basically fucking using an ACOG. This is like a, a wide, wide field, of, well, wide for two and a half power. This is a wide field of view. I can see, you know, everything around me. I can do this. It's light. It's easy to use. This is butt fuck useless past 30 yards. So don't waste your money on something like this. I got this on a deal, but, oh, goddamn mosquitoes, man. I need to hurry this up, but I want to, you know, so if you, if you're calling in an animal, a coyote, you are, you're looking for people, right? This is a wide tool of observation. You can see quick, maneuverable, in every sense of the word, you can detect whatever you're looking for, okay? But we're going to put this back over here. I want to talk about this. This, now, these are rifle scopes. You can use them on rifles and so on and such. Um, this is for your long shots. This is for, I would use this in a, a self, uh, quote, um, self-offense defense situation, okay? A self-offense defense situation. That's what I would use this for. We have a battery pack on here. So basically, I can run this thing for 40 hours straight. Um, and these run on CR123 batteries. This one runs on a, like a fucking, I don't know, some random fucking battery. I don't use it, though. It's a rechargeable battery. Um, you want the thermal because it detects everything um it's easier to use it's far less complicated you need far less requirements to run it than you do nods with nods you need a helmet or a skull crusher you need a mount you need a, a dovetail mount you need a j-arm you need you know not necessarily a dovetail mount some military surplus when you get whatever you want you need counterweights or you don't want counterweights. You need hearing protection or you don't want hearing protection or you'll use under the helmet hearing protection, right? With a thermal, it's you just put it on your fucking gun or you use it as a, a, an observation tool. Um, you know, it's just, it's the simplicity. You have choice, you have options. Um, you know, these, these just have far more use I mean, and you may say, well, I'll be, you know, what about movement? What about movement at night? That's really all these are good for, truthfully. I I have this this gun here, EOTEC XPS30 or whatever the night vision model is, right? I'm running it on a riser because, you know, tactical LARP. Here we have a Surefire um, Vampire X or whatever the hell it is, which one it is. It has the, 
you know, it has the um, IR light on it as well, but we're not going to use that right now. Um, it's BCM 12.5 welded with a WIT machine SME on some shims, so it's a 16-inch rifle. Um, I have that as a night vision gun. I don't really use it ever. What I like to do is, um, I'll just show you guys. Um, so I like to run it. We'll just say we have our nods down, right? This is how I like to run it, my gun. Um, if I'm in a quick sitch where I just need to do some observation, I run it like that. I can just look straight down the fucking thing. And if I need to be really quick, I can do this. Or if I need to be super ultra, or, or if I'm just running uh, in a certain way, I can just switch. I do this. I, I run it like that. That's why I run the PVS 14s. I I can run them well. Um, I don't have an issue with like some people do with the the dizziness or the vertigo from only having one. My depth perception is pretty good, so not too worried about that. But but the nods are really only applicable for nighttime driving and observation at night. For the most part, you're really not going to need them. Um, you know, for shooting. I don't, I, I've never used this to shoot at an animal. Um, or, and you you may say animal, I'm not hunting animal. Well, remember, we're all mammals, okay? On the Discovery Channel type shit. But, if you, if this is a reticle, you can zero this. And you may say, well, my, my EOTech is blah, blah, blah. Your EOTech has jack shit for magnification, okay? Well, I have an ACOG, I look through an ACOG, um, Light transmission, guys. You need to understand, too, you know, the glass has light transmission. It has an error of transmission. This is its own device. This looks through things. It sees things. It can see a bird in a tree. It can see a raccoon across a field. It can see a man 300 yards hiding in a bush. Okay? It can see cars. It can see everything. This, you know what this sees? Nothing. If there's no light coming from it, it doesn't see it. Okay? It doesn't see it. If it's not moving, it doesn't see it. If it's down in the grass, it doesn't see it. If this is down, if, if something's down in the grass with its head poking up, looking around, this doesn't see it. This does. It sees the birds in the fields. It sees the raccoons in the trees. It sees the birds in the air. It sees the airplanes. It sees the helicopters in the sky. It sees the it sees everything. This, this isn't this isn't even a fake story, guys. Okay, 100% real. I was uh. I was walking across a field and I shot at a creature and a helicopter came looking for me and I could see its infrared light that the helicopter's infrared light the IR camera the cop the, the the helicopter had I could see its light searching for me going down tree rows like this like the ones way back there if you can see them it was searching those tree rows for me I could see the lights. I hid from that helicopter because of this. Now, that is an advantage. You can see infrared light. You can see security camera lights. You can do all that with this, this the nods. Um, but the thermals see everything. They don't see the IR lights, of course, but they can detect heat. They can see helicopters. They can see movement very well, exceptionally well. Um, and, you know, I just want to get to it. If you think you're going to buy one of these or you want to buy one of these, understand that this comes with so much the, the night vision comes with so much excess cost it's um you know you really need to be aware of that because the the unit itself the pvs 14 was like three thousand dollars okay now you get your wilcox mount okay and your j-arm um now that's like another grand okay now you have your team winning bump helmet that's like i don't even know five six seven hundred bucks okay now you have your peltor contacts okay that's like another four or five hundred dollars or something like that then you have your various other units and so on and such. And oh, now I need a now I need a scope or a, a, a red dot. Okay, that's another thousand dollars. Well, I need a riser. Okay, that's another couple hundred bucks. Oh, now I need a, a, a flashlight or an IR unit. You know, that's a couple grand or a thousand bucks or or you know five three four five hundred dollars for your light. You know, it just doesn't stop with the nods. You just can't get the nods, and that's it. You have to get other things with it. But this, the thermals. This is all you need. This is one. This is your scope. This is your preserving unit. 
You can look around, you can up, down, left, right, winter, fall, summer, spring, uh, morning, day, night. This is only night. Morning, day, night, rain, snow, sleet, fog. You can use this, okay? This has limitations. I could use this right now in the sunlight. I could use this thermal device and I'd be able to see creatures and still shoot at them. This, I can't use this. It'll burn it out. It will fucking destroy this tube. Now, of course, you may say, well, I can, if, I, if I point this at the sun, it'll fucking destroy it. Well, you know, by the way, dipshit, if you look at the sun, your eyes will be destroyed too. So that's not really a point. But, you know, if you're going to buy one of these guys, get the thermals. Okay, get a thermal. It's just, there's a lot less entry costs and requirements to use this properly than the nods. You know, I'll just rephrase this one more time. With nods, you have to have a mount. You have to have an arm. You have to have a helmet or, or a um, head crunch or whatever the fuck that thing's called. You got to have hearing protection. You got to get uh, uh, various other things. You got to get a, a sight for it that works. You got to get an IR unit if you want it. You got to get a, a light if you want it. Right? That's thousands upon thousands. You gotta get a gun uh, if, or, or something or a suppressor or you gotta get a right flash hider. Right? It's just, it's so many compounding costs that this, it just doesn't stop with the unit. It doesn't stop. When you buy night vision, you can't stop with just night vision. There's a lot more extra cost to it. Okay? So if you wanna start with something and you just get it, Get the thermal, guys, okay? And, you know, that's all I have to say. Just get the thermal. A lot less cost, a lot, lot less requirements and equipment needed to use it properly. You know, you get a battery pack, you charge your battery pack, you'll never have to buy batteries again, okay? Now, you can do that, of course, with the nods. You can get a battery pack, but we're not talking about that. So, you know, I want to thank you all for watching. And um, so, I'm just going to, here on screen, I'm going to set. I'm gonna do a setup where... Uh, you're going to see me walk across the field with nods, um, with thermals. These two devices, I'm going to set them up. And I'm going to walk across that field uh, 100 yards. And I want you to see what you see, what you don't see. And, uh, yeah. But that's pretty much going to be the end of here, guys. All it's going to be is the footage um, from here on out showing the thermals. Because then I'm going to just go record this here soon. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you all for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Let's get to 1,000, okay? We get to 1,000. Um, I don't know, I'll probably take the mask off, truth, truthfully. At least you guys want me to keep it on, that's up to you. But, uh, you know, let's get through a thousand, because, uh, I don't know. But, okay, you guys are going to see the comparisons here soon, so, three, two, one, oh, but yeah, before we get to it, subscribe, guys, for real, subscribe, okay? Let's get to a thousand, because, uh, I need to get some AdSense revenue. I'm not, of course, doing this for the money, I'm doing it for the passion, but, you know, shit costs a lot, not because of this. I bought these well before I ever intended on uploading on the channel so um thank you all for watching though and uh subscribe enjoy the uh the range stuff here whatever you see all right bye guys
Based. Based. Are you unironically racist? Based. Based. Do your coworkers call you racist? Based. Based. Do you say these things to drive degenerates and axe wound recipients into self immolation? Based. Based. Seethe. Seethe. What's it like to have the mass report and ban your accounts? Seethe. Seethe. Does it make you want to take things in your own hands? Seethe. Seethe. Why don't you make them pay? Fed. Fed. What's it like having federal agents contact you on Telegram posing as your future doomer trad wife? Fed. Fed. If you act in your hate, we can get a hotel. Fed. Fed. Do you reply with a picture of an autistic looking frog? Based. Based. Within hate. Based. Within hate. Based. Why don't you say that three times? Within hate. Based. Within hate. Based. Within hate. Based. Within hate. Based.